Hello and welcome. Today we're about to compile a kernel and we will add some kernel options to be able to get a higher resolution in our console. We will also make changes, you will get color when you make an ls command. For example, this is um, how it looks like when it's done. Um, it would be uh, much more space when you do something like uh, um, if you look at this and that was a bad example but let's say that you uh, list directories you see that the um, you have a lot more wider space when you have high resolution compared to this one you see it's much smaller and I've changed the color also of the terminal text however the color change we will make will look something like this so um, you will also have, um, this is uh, something you will recognize if you were using Ubuntu Linux, for example. To, to start with, I have a new machine here that we're going to work with. I would like to change the shell, the first thing we do. So we do pkg add r and bash, we want to use the bash shell. So now I'm going to install this and I'm going to show you how to change this shell to the users you want to add it to. Simply do like this. Uh, CHSH and take an option S for change the shell. And then we take the shell which is located here and we take the username here. So now the root user is using this shell. One way to see this is basically to do ch pass root and we can get the information of root. Here you see that we have the new shell. Okay, so to use our shell, simply make exit to log out and log in again as root. Here you can see we change our shell. So the bash shell has a lot of better features, what I would like to say. Okay, so now let's compile a kernel. What you do in FreeBSD is that first you need to know what architecture you're using. I'm using the i386, which is the standard 32-bit system. So first of all, I would like to make a backup of the kernel. It's very simple, do like this. Uh, copy and use the option big R and a little p. Boot kernel, this is the one we want to copy. And we make like this, boot kernel but we put point backup and press enter. Now we have a backup of our kernel in case we screw up something. To restore a kernel uh, I will make another tutorial video of that. I don't cover it in this one but the next one will be that. Uh, this copy takes a while. Okay now it's done. So let's do like this. The first thing I would like to do is to uh, to go to the uh, the place where we find the kernel source, cd to this directory. And here you select architecture. In my case, it's three eight six, and uh, enter the directory conf. If you ls here, you will see that we have some different kernel setups here. I would like you to make a copy of the generic one. So, see, I copy the generic one to, uh, this is the name of the kernel configuration, let's call it new kernel. And if you look now, we have uh, the new kernel file to edit. Let's edit this one with the VI editor. I won't describe the VI uh, editor right here. If you need help with this, I have a tutorial also for that. Also, you can look up on internet, but I recommend looking at the tutorial. Um, so, in this, we add the options we want. We are going to add some few options here. It's important that we make them correct, or else the kernel won't compile later. So, I stand here and press the OK key to open up a new line. I can spare that information at least. And I do like this. Add options. Press tab to go over here. And then we want... Uh, sc underscore pixel underscore mode next option will be visa 
to be able to enter the visa mode for the kernel to change resolutions. This is not default in the first one. Then we can add some beautiful colors. This is not the listing colors, this is the color of the, the text of the terminal and the kernel messages we will get later. I will show them to you. This one you can change later to other colors if you want. SC underscore norm ATR and this one is the, the color of the console. So let's put the foreground which is the text we see to white. Make a pipe sign there and then we add BG underscore blacks on black background. Now let's add another configuration here. Options SC underscore kernel cons at and then uh, we can add the foreground. The text should be white in this case we can take and let's make it a little bit 3BSD to, pay, to take the background to red. All right, we can save now these options. So here is the configuration file we worked in. And there's where we make the options where we want to add things. In this tutorial, I won't to make any explanation of what the things are actually. I, I, I think I will make in a better, com better explanation later to make analysis of this file. But if you want to change something, most of the things will be on the internet and you just add them in this file. So what we need to do now is that we need to compile this kernel. It's very simple. You just need to cd to the uh, USR SRC. And when you stand in this directory, you just need to use a command to build kernel. Make bile kernel. And then kernel conf equals new kernel. This is the name of the kernel configuration file that we added. So for example, let's say that you were adding a file name like, uh, for example, I called my server space lab and I was adding the, the kernel name space lab. You just change that instead of new kernel, it will be space lab for that, that type of configuration file, very simple. But if I press return now, it will begin to compile and there will be a little problem. It's not a problem, but it's a time consuming thing. Like it will print a lot of messages on the screen. If you want to remove this message on the screen to speed up the compil compilation time, simply do like this. Add a redirection output to dev null. This will make all the text that appears on the screen to make them disappear. So we don't see any messages right now, more than some specific messages. So right now it compiles the kernel. So this will take a little bit of time depending on your computer speed. So uh, I make a little pause here if it takes too much time. So our kernel has been uh, compiled successfully and now we need to install the kernel. The command is almost the same. Uh, it's uh, instead of uh, build kernel, it's install kernel. And we use current conf and the name of our kernel configuration. We can also redirect the output to dev null also. All right, um, now the kernel has been installed. So let's take a look at something here. Uh, if we look inside of, uh, let's see, what directory was it? It should be boot. You can see that we have something called kernel.old. When we, when we type the command to install the kernel, it will take the, the previous kernel we were using and make it as kernel.old. So if we make another kernel configuration, it will take uh, the next, uh, the, the kernel that's active use and make it and copy to kernel.old and here we have the backup that we were making. Okay, now it's installed. We just simply need to reboot the machine. Here you should notice some new differences when we make the reboot. Remember that we were putting a red background with white text. It will appear when the system is booting after this one. 
Here you see it. So if we get any messages from the uh, kernel, they will appear like this. And it's uh, much easier to notice them. But uh, don't fear, because it will not look like this in the terminal when we work, because it will look like this. So this means that our kernel has been successfully installed. And uh, now I want to show you how you can change the resolutions. You simply do like this. Uh, first of all, we need to check what video modes we got. Read control I mode. Here we get the complete list, but uh, it's uh, do like this. Pipe more and we can read it much easier and press enter to scroll through it. Here you can see different video modes, different resolutions. So for example, if I want to have this resolution over here, 1280 times 1024, 16 bits, I simply need to remember this number, 282. And uh, then if I want to use it, I could test the video mode by typing, uh, I think this will work, I can try, read control mode 282 yep and it was uh, now I cannot show you the because my VMware is pushing out this resolution and the, the video recording is not so big but it was changing the resolution this will not remain if you re reboot but if you want it to remain we do like this we take uh, we go to the etc rc.conf and uh, when we enter this um, file, we simply add this line. All screens underscore flags equals mode and the number of the mode. And I just need to check one thing in my in my notes. Uh, yep. When you save this, oops. When you save this, it will um, change the resolution to that when it reboots. Uh, right now, since I'm in um, in VMware, in an, uh, I want, I'm now going to change back to the old resolution. Uh, let me see what it was. Read control. You cannot see this now, sorry, but I'm using read control I mode. I think I was typing it wrong. With control E mode. Sorry, you cannot see this now. Uh, just bear with me for a moment here. I think I'm going to use uh, the 279 mode. Read control mode. What did I say? 279. Yeah, this is better right now, so I don't occupy the whole screen. It's still it's stretched out, but I don't worry too much of that now. So another thing that we want to do now is that we want to make if I add ls, I want the categories to be in color. Uh, how we do this simply is like it's a command it's lsg and we get the color but we don't want to type the g command all the time one way to fix this is to do like following uh, if you stand in your home directory you can add one file called dot bash underscore pro file in this file you just simply add Elias ls equals and now it's single quotation ls g like this and you save this file and um, now you need to log out log in again and it will look like this now then you get the color 
can be fancy, but one thing that looks very ugly, I have to admit, is this one. Uh, the devices get very weird colors there. So if you want to use it or not, it's up to you. I think you can tweak this, but uh, I don't have any information of how to do it right now. Perhaps later I get it. So if I reboot now, um, everything will um, remain the same like this, unless uh, except for the resolution there. But uh, let's say if I reboot now, uh, the vid control will not kick in until the system has loaded the etcrc.con file. So this was everything for this tutorial. And uh, it, as you could see, it was not difficult at all to make a, to, to compile a new kernel for FreeBSD. It's very, very simple, I have to admit. I will add links on the homepage so you can see more specific from the FreeBSD homepage. Uh, from where you can um, where you can see more options like if you want to not to compile the kernel modules because right now we were compiling every kernel modules if you don't want to compile the kernel modules and only the kernel there are some options that uh, I will link to on from the website so you can see which speeds up a bit if you only want to make some minor changes to the kernel uh, later tutorials that will arrive about kernels will be how to restore and fault the kernel, like if I want to go back to the old one. And uh, we I, and if I find more information about how to make the, um, the console look a lot prettier, I will add this also in the tutorial. So hope you guys enjoyed it and take care.